Get Biblical Understanding, along with T.A. McMahon. Wisdom is the principal thing, therefore get wisdom. And with all thy getting, get understanding. Proverbs chapter 4, verse 7. This is number 13 in our series of Get Biblical Understanding. In this session, we're reading many, but certainly not all, of the biblical verses that have to do with the heart. Scripture instructs the believer to keep thy heart with all diligence, for out of it are the issues of life. And we are to give our hearts to the Lord and be obedient to his ways. The theme of this series is the heart. Deuteronomy chapter 30, verse 10. If thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to keep his commandments and his statutes, which are written in this book of the law, and if thou turn unto the Lord thy God with all thine heart and with all thy soul. Deuteronomy chapter 30, verses 15 to 17. See, I have set before thee this day life and good, and death and evil. In that I command thee this day to love the Lord thy God, to walk in his ways, and to keep his commandments and his statutes and his judgments, that thou mayest live and multiply. And the Lord thy God shall bless thee in the land whither thou goest to possess it. But if thine heart turn away, so that thou wilt not hear, but shalt be drawn away, and worship other gods, and serve them, I denounce unto you this day that ye shall surely perish, and that ye shall not prolong your days upon the land, whether thou passest over Jordan to go to possess it. 1 Samuel chapter 13, verses 13 to 14. But now, speaking to Saul, thy kingdom shall not continue. The Lord hath sought him a man after his own heart, and the Lord hath commanded him to be captain over his people, because thou hast not kept that which the Lord commanded thee. 1 Samuel chapter 16, verse 7. But the Lord said unto Samuel, Look not on his countenance, or on the height of his stature, because I have refused him. For the Lord seeth not as man seeth. For man looketh on the outward appearance, but the Lord looketh on the heart. 1 Chronicles chapter 28, verse 9. And thou, Solomon my son, know thou the God of thy father, and serve him with a perfect heart and with a willing mind. For the Lord searcheth all hearts and understandeth all the imaginations of the thoughts. If thou seek him, he will be found of thee. But if thou forsake him, he will cast thee off forever. Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not unto thine own understanding. Proverbs chapter 4, verse 23. Keep thy heart with all diligence, for out of it are the issues of life. Proverbs chapter 23, verse 26. My son, give me thine heart and let thine eyes observe my ways. Jeremiah 17, verse 9. The heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Who can know it? Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 13. And ye shall seek me and find me when ye shall search for me with all your heart. Matthew chapter 13, verse 15. For this people's heart is waxed gross and their ears are dull of hearing, and their eyes they have closed, lest at any time they should see with their eyes, and hear with their ears, and should understand with their heart, and should be converted, and I should heal them. Matthew chapter 15, verses 7 to 8. Ye hypocrites, well did Isaiah prophesy of you, saying, This people draweth nigh unto me with their mouth, and honoreth me with their lips but their heart is far from me. Matthew chapter 15, verses 18 to 19. But those things which proceed out of the mouth come forth from the heart, and they defile the man. For out of the heart proceed evil thoughts, murders, adulteries, fornications, thefts, false witness, blasphemies. 
Matthew chapter 22, verses 36 to 37. Master, which is the great commandment in the law? Jesus said unto him, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, and with all thy soul, and with all thy mind. Mark chapter 6, verses 51 to 52. And he went up unto them into the ship, and the wind ceased, and they were sore amazed in themselves beyond measure, and wondered. For they considered not the miracle of the loaves, for their heart was hardened. Mark chapter 7, verse 6. He answered and said unto them, Well hath Isaiah prophesied of you hypocrites, as it is written, This people honoreth me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. Mark chapter 12, verse 30. And thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, and with all thy soul, and with all thy mind, and with all thy strength. This is the first commandment. Thanks for listening, and we hope you'll join us again as we search the scriptures in order to get biblical understanding.